the, one of the things that's really exciting both to me and the students in the class is the ability to be teaching a class simultaneously and experiencing a class simultaneously on two campuses. We video chat with Abu Dhabi students and when I first saw that I mean that was I never, I mean, there's something out of, you know, Mission Impossible or James Bond. I think it's very cool to be, able, like, I was surprised by how easy it was to feel like it was one class instead of feeling like it was two separate entities. With the City Meets the Sea, the approach that we're taking in this course is to look at how humans affect coastlines, um, both on the local scale and at the global scale. And so the philosophy of the course is to look at human impacts on coastal ecosystems from an environmental and an ecological perspective. I think technology has been a huge part of what I've learned, like how to use these technologies in the field, how to take information, how to um, analyze that information. Um, we've done a lot of work with GIS. GIS is a data management system that is focused on spatial data and computer mapping. Um, more so though than just a management system that allows you to store data, it also allows you to do complex analysis. Um, and so we're collecting data on things like air quality, uh, things like water quality. We're going out and doing biological collections and feeding this data into a, a database that's um, locally focused but widespread. The technology aspect of it really helps because that's how people collect data out in the field, you know, and Using the tablets when we go out, we can record a GPS location, we can record like a photo, we can, we can like write down data about the site, like notes about it. We've collected a lot of data to start with and now the students will be using that data to analyze issues that correspond with coastal urban interactions, but will also be using those as a baseline for developing their own data in GIS. This is one of the, the skills that are often listed as something that employers are interested in having. So teaching them that in any context in the classroom is going to be useful for them going on. I really understand how data collection works now. Using ArcGIS, that kind of software, it's, it's a really, really useful technical skill and so is Excel. Like, to do anything in this major, you need to be able to do that. Uh, NYU has a presence in New York, it has a presence in Abu Dhabi, but it also has a presence in Shanghai and Accra and many other coastal cities. One of the kind of foundational goals of the course is to allow students to study these coastal urban interactions, not only in the context of their own city, but to expand that understanding to figure out what can be transferred to other cities throughout the world and what are specific to their home institution. And I think using the context of Abu Dhabi and New York and Shanghai and so on to provide that local context to students working there but also to share the data that's being generated in each of these different uh, institutions and moving that around the world provides a real opportunities for students to think globally while looking at a local context.